close. One more little minor adjustment here and we're ready to go. 15 seconds will be good. Okay, you know, I, I started doing the, the photography thing full time uh, a little over four years ago. And kind of my life before uh, photography, or at least before uh, turning it into my profession, um, I was a college administrator. And I was just doing kind of photography on the side, stringing for some organizations, doing some photojournalistic stuff. And um, just decided that photography is what I had wanted to do since I was a little kid. I wanted it to be my profession my whole life. It just never really gotten around to it. So I finally made the leap and jumped in with both feet, and it turned out to be just a great move. Um, started doing a, a, a lot of commercial, architectural, portraiture type work. That looks great. <laughs> oh, well, that wouldn't be too bad, but these are good. They're going to like them. Good. Very nice. Looks great. My name is Jeff Dykehouse. This is my red brick story. Eleven years ago, uh, my daughter Emily died of cancer, and within just a few hours of her being gone, um, I went back to look at pictures and realized we didn't have very many. We didn't have a really nice family portrait done, and uh, I was really sad about that. It was just hard to believe that we didn't think to do that while she was still alive. After that happened, wanted to help families that had gone through something similar, and it was just uh, an epiphany. I should be photographing these hospice families so they don't make the same mistake that I made. And really what I'm trying to, to, to capture for the family is um, an image and a memory of their child that is going to ultimately help that family heal when the child is gone. And there's never any charge to families. Um, I've never accepted any money from, from families and I never will, um, but it got to be overwhelming because there was such a demand. So that's why um, I created the, the nonprofit so now I can start accepting donations from individuals, from corporations, foundations, uh, whoever wants to, to give uh, can, and it's a, a, in most cases a tax deductible donation. Yeah, this is a great space. I'm really fortunate to be here. Um, the, the criteria to move into this building is pretty simple. You, you have to be an artist, you have to live here, and you have to practice your art here. So these are all live-work spaces. Yeah, this area of division, uh, our block here in between Oaks and Cherry um, is just, it's, it's beautiful right now. It's going to be better. A few years ago it wasn't so great, even a year ago, even six months ago it wasn't so, so great. And you know, five or ten years ago this area was just you know, probably one of the worst areas in town and now it's coming back. And really downtown Grand Rapids has just changed so much over the past few years. It's been kind of a, a, a gradual transformation but it's really just this past even six months I'm seeing a, a huge difference in, in Grand Rapids not just kind of on this side of town in the Heartside District, but really across the entire uh, Grand Rapids area. A lot of new condos being built, a lot of folks coming back into downtown Grand Rapids to live, which is great. 
a lot of great businesses going on downtown. You're seeing a lot of retail that moved out years ago that's moving back. Um, it's just really a, a really neat place to be.